Hello everybody, welcome back to the NASCAR Kellogg's Truck Series. It's going to be an exciting race just a week after a crazy, crazy Daytona race in which A.J. Jones won and took over the points lead by two points. We had to a completely different monster. As you can probably tell, we're back at North Wilkesboro. We were here earlier in the year where James Young won. That was a night race. Lemmy Koopa had, like, dominated and they had a problem and had to pit from the lead. I believe blew a motor in the last 15 laps. So it was a heartbreaker. But point scenario going into this race. Two races. A.J. Jones could theoretically clinch... The championship if he leads the most laps and wins the race and Pete Townsend finishes last and doesn't lead the lap. That's because Pete Townsend's only two, still only two points behind. Martin Freeman still theoretically in it. He's almost a full race back. Benedict Cumberbatch, Eddie Money, and Mitch Hedberg are both need a miracle. All AJ Jones, they both need that. All three of those I just mentioned need to finish ahead of both AJ Jones and Pete Townsend. In this race, the Imperfect Circle 200, Hootie and the Blowfish promoting their newest album, they're back. And we gotta get back to going to the starting lineup. And Pete Townsend, it was a great. Great qualifying effort for him. This is exactly what he needed the rebound. He's on the pole along with Andre the Giant, a teammate to A.J. Jones. Speaking of A.J. Jones, he's starting third. As you can see, they have really amped it up, the, these two championship contenders. They don't want either one of them to run away with it here. And Daniel Brule, he's going to start alongside in fourth. Lynn manuel Miranda and James Young... The defending winner here is going to start fifth. It'll start in row three, my bad. Mark Watney and Lionel Richie in the next row. Those are two drivers having tough, tough years. Then Tom Clancy, yep, and Solid Snake. Peter Gabriel on part-time duty will line up next to Lemmy Koopa, who nearly had this race won. Buddy Lazier and Billy Preston... Then Brandon Morris, still no word on whether or not he's returning, and Miranda Cosgrove. Martin Freeman needs to pretty much finish ahead of A.J. Jones or Pete Townsend just to have a... Just to even... He needs to finish really close just to have a mathematical shot, but he needs to finish ahead even just to have a realistic shot. He's going to start next to Adele. And that is going to be... Yes, row nine. Now part-time. Michael Jackson is going to line up next to Benedict Cumberbatch. Not runs that they needed. Then Red Fox, Frank Sinatra will be in the next row. Then Taylor Goldsmith and Eddie Money. Weird Al Yankovic and Gilbert Gottfried. Then Maurice White and Steve Carell and Hilda and Tommy Chong. He's won three races this year, along with A.J. Jones. Wayne Brady and Dwayne Johnson, they're just fighting to stay relevant in the series. Nick Cage, Peter Onjak, who's just been having a string of bad luck, torpedoing in point, him in points, but he'll still probably return. He's been fast. Jacob Rose and... Mitch Hedberg, who pretty much needs to get max point. He's had the max point swing in these last two races, so he's pretty much realistically out of it. It's a two-horse race. Rounding out the field, Simon Cowell and Meatloaf. Tough year. Well, this is a tough track. It's going to come down to... Yeah. Good solid command. It's going to come down. I think track position is going to be pretty key. And Pretty much whoever finishes in front of the other is going to take the points lead going into Atlanta in two weeks' time. 
of course, as we just scroll through that, we got to keep in mind that even just keeping it really close, just like even finishing within a position, will probably be seen as a win for both drivers. They just like to have that advantage. Green flag is out, and we're racing here at North Wilkesboro to kick off a three-race weekend here. Pete Townsend, he's clear out of turn two. Or is he? Andre the Giant trying to get alongside. AJ Jones trying to get past his teammate. Lin Manuel Miranda trying to play upset. Already they fan out almost three wide in the back. Townsend has a jump and he, he's got the one win this season. He is not, but that was all the way back at Rockingham. He has not won since then. AJ Jones now clear of the 41. He's looking to chase down the 21. Pete Townsend, it's believed he's going to be going up. He's going to be going up to Melling Series. It's believed he's going to be taking over for Count Dracula in the 59. I believe that team is going to be switching to Ford. Might be expanding to add a second car. AJ Jones, it's still unknown. What the heck his plans are going to be. There's a few other drivers who might move up too. Benedict Cumberbatch seems like he's a... I think Mitch Hedberg, I think we've confirmed he's moving up somewhere. But already four laps complete. Peter Onjak getting cycled out. And Pete Townsend just leading as ensured that he, his title hopes will stay alive. Andre the Giant running third. He's played pretty much second fiddle to AJ Jones this year, but he's had some good runs. Although he's actually third in the points of the three. He's nearly a whole race behind his teammate Meatloaf, but Meatloaf just has not been able to put it together. Should point this out, AJ Jones has gotten to the back bumper of the 21 and is looking to the inside going into turn one. Townsend keeps the spot for now. Now Jones walks it a little bit wide. Lin Manuel Miranda somehow still in fourth. Let's talk about him. That's tech. Yeah, I believe that is a Lionel Messi Racing prepared entry all season. And actually, I think he's been he's running about mid mid pack, midway through the points table at least of the full time drivers. He's 18. He got that pole last week. He's only got one top five. He's got four top tens. Pete Townsend, well, he had the lead for like, he still got the lead in top fives of nine. He had 13 top tens. Kind of falling. Here's Mark Watney trying to do something. Watney's had a terrible season. 34th in points. He's the lowest driver of the full-timers in points. He doesn't even have a, uh, win but he's led 49 laps and he's got a pull so at least led laps there's a full-time driver who hasn't led laps i believe that is snake it's indeed snake so there's no surprise looking at the fastest lap charts aj jones is Towards the top, he's in fact the very top of the chart. 
he's still side by side a while through the pack. Because of how they are running, it's like looking like it's only going to be a two horse race going into Atlanta. Luckily, it looks like it's going to be a close two horse race. It means nobody truly has an advantage. What's not comforting AJ Jones is the fact that his, his teammate is starting to close in. Maybe if they could work together, they could get something done. About a quarter of the way through the race at the line, it is Pete, Pete Townsend. I almost said PJ Townsend or something. Where would that have come from? Pete Townsend is your race leader. There's James Young in six, your defending winner. Pretty sure this is the same truck. It would explain a lot. Probably the same truck that Lemmy Koopa had. Daniel Bruhl and Lionel Richie, I think that that organization, the you know, Hulk Sport organization, is winless. And Buddy Lazier, he's running 10. AJ Jones looking up high trying to make a move is... Almost looks like Andre the Giant's trying to make a move on his teammate. It's not what AJ Jones wants to see. Assuming this is how they end the race. I believe it would be a 13 point points lead to Pete Townsend since, well, he's, being, he's leading the most laps and AJ Jones hasn't led any. I would not be surprised if AJ, if they do come down pit road, I would not be surprised if AJ Jones tried to long pit, tried the overcut, you know, to get that uh, lap led statistic. Jones trying a very interesting line through there. Anyway, a field, the back of the field already half a lap down. Lemmy Koopa making a pass for seven. AJ Jones looks like he's starting the real in Pete Townsend a little bit. This should be very interesting to watch. Oh, that made me dizzy for a second. There's a little flyby shot, mini flyby shot. It's actually pretty well done. You can see AJ Jones has really been chow chowing down. About a uh, tenth every lap. He's going to need to keep this up if he wants to win the race. And he just lost half a tenth. Well, anyway, Pete, Peter Onjack is last. Meatloaf is towards the back. Billy Preston. Interesting. It's a game of cat and mouse, I guess. Townsend runs a few better laps than... Jones runs a few better laps. I see tire wear is definitely coming into play. Lap time's fallen off already over a second. About a second and a half. Two seconds is usually, at a fair amount of tracks, a good, a good thumbnail of when the pit. But it can be more, it can be less. Like on road courses, oh goodness. Although AJ Jones, if anything, is almost getting killed by these tires, I almost think an undercut 
would be the way to go. If he were to overcut Pete Townsend, he'd guarantee he'd get get five bonus points for leading a lap, but would he uh, even come out in second? It's almost just like conceding the race. I don't even know the size of the fuel tanks that they do have to pit. What I do know is we're near halfway. And so far the only cars that have seemingly been able to keep pace with the 21 are the 9 and the 30. Maybe, maybe Meatloaf lurking, not, that's Andre the Giant. Maybe Andre the Giant lurking back there is what, what's been hurting. Uh, AJ Jones. He did run a little bit faster that time by. Pete Townsend kind of walked it up. This could be a, a little bit of an advantage to AJ Jones. Maybe not. He was slower that time. Me I don't know why I'm confusing him. Andre the Giant really closing in. Oh my goodness. Pete Townsend blows the motor. He stays on the racetrack. What is he doing? Pit Road was right there. Oh, and he's not even going to get the most laps led if AJ Jones leads the rest of them. Because that was right at halfway. 29 laps. Oh, almost bringing out a caution in the process. But A.J. Jones is your new leader. Wow. I think A.J. Jones might have all but wrapped up the championship. If Pete Townsend finishes last, he's going to... Oh my goodness, he's gonna have those three point those five bonus points keeping him alive. Oh heartbreak for the 21. Just flip the championship on its lid. He's out. He's gonna finish last. Wow. Assuming is Wow, I 136. Wow. That I'm just I'm speechless. What a way to lose a championship. Oh. Unless, of course, AJ Jones has a similar problem. There's still 25 to go at the line. But if they do pit now, it would be. It would be, yeah, it would, it's still, still one stop race. Andre the Giant going for the undercut, unless there's a problem. I don't think there is because James Young just came down. Weird Al, Tom Clancy, Martin Freeman, Billy Preston. Man, staying out will. Lemmy Koopa's gonna stay out. That could. Oh, that could damage AJ Jones' hopes for, for getting the most laps led. Wow. Andre the Giant leaves, hits pit stall. They did. Contact on pit road! James Young and what happened? 
Oh! That's gonna be huge! What on earth is happening? All I know is AJ Jones should not be sitting on pit road that long. I don't even know who's all led. Lemmy Koopa is led. See the lap down. Lin Manuel Miranda. No, I think Andre the Giant's your leader. Caution is out. And Pete. Peter Gabriel is destroyed. Looks. It's going to cause it. There's Peter Gabriel's Wayne Brady and Frank Sinatra just. The track Nicholas Cage plows in. Oh, Brandon Moore. Holy cow. Morris just plows in. Taylor Goldsmith is in. Dwayne Johnson, Mitch Hedberg. Oh, Andre the Giant gets damaged. What on earth? AJ Jones better go out there and run a few laps. What on earth? Jones is still... No, Jones is back out in the track. Lap 39. He's two laps down. Oh. Huge implications. And James Young is up to third be after this. James Young going to try to go back-to-back. Back. May have just played into this championship controversially. Brandon Morris is out of the race. Whoop. Wayne Brady. Peter Gabriel. This should lift A.J. Jones to 33rd. And this will give... Helms in the most laps led bonus. Solid snake blowing up. I don't even know how many points, how this is going to affect the championship scenario. Should be 59 points for Pete Townsend. 58, 61. So it's 69 points for AJ Jones at the moment. Wayne Johnson bringing it down. This is interesting. Oh no. Oh, it's about. AJ Jones is going to be able to get a lap back, though, or be in position. He's going to need a couple of quick yellows. Is Meatloaf going to be a fair teammate? Solid Snake's out. Oh, implications. Green flag is out. AJ Jones a little slow. That's not what he needed. Going in the turn one, though. Can he fire back on his teammate, Andre the Giant? I don't know. They were pretty neck and neck. Giant might have the run here in the three. 
Jones puts a fender out in front. James Young to the inside. At the line, if you were wondering, AJ Jones was getting his lap back. Young going for second. Could James Young sweep? Oh, Mark Watney nearly got in. Three of the giant alerts. They're close. Here comes Michael Jackson. And now James Young going for the race lead. Dwayne Johnson continuing the pit. They're like almost three wide in the back. The back of the front. Oh, this is not going to end well, is it? They keep it clean for the moment. This is cr getting really crazy. I, I can't believe this. 75 versus 59 as well. Oh, but here's the thing. Even if caution comes out now, lap cars are going to run on the tail end of the lead lap. James Young is your leader. He's made the pass. Lin-Manuel Miranda going for second, potentially for the lead. Coming to 10 laps to go. Championship shaken up and then reshaken up. Oh! Contact! Andre the Giant into the wall. So is Lemmy Koopa. And they keep it green. Clean and green. Somehow. Lin-Manuel Miranda hounding the back bumper of that double zero. That trouble spot it looks like. Oh, this is going to allow Martin Freeman. These guys are going to be... Some of them might be allowed back into this hunt. I'm not sure mathematically who's all going to be in it. Coming the 7 to go. Michael Jackson to the back bumper of the 41. They are three wide towards the back. This is getting really hectic. Man, I thought there was some contact in there for sure. Guess not. Wow. Hang on. I don't think these guys are going to be slow enough. Lionel Richie going for fourth. Lin-Manuel Miranda once again knocking at the door, coming to five to go. Can he break through or will James Young get win number three on the year? Miranda trying to dive it in. Michael Jackson there as well. Four to go. Lionel Richie clear for fourth. Weird Al Yankovic looks like he's going to try and take a shot at fifth. Three laps to go. Michael Jackson is looking underneath Lin-Manuel Miranda. This could be what James Young needs to secure a win. Jackson almost looked like he, he was moving... Lynn manuel Miranda up the racetrack. Oh, and Dwayne Johnson stopped pitting every lap. Good on him. Never mind. Two to go for James Young. 
Can Lynn Manuel Miranda chase back up? Lemmy Kubic still hanging tough on the outside. What on earth? White flag is out for James Young. It's going to be a close one. Lin Manuel Miranda will have one more shot going into turn three. He goes high instead of low. I don't think that's going to work. Coming out of four, James Young is going to take the checkered flag. And win the Imperfect Circle 200. Oh, and this flips the championship on its complete other side. Holy cow, there's your official standings. Wow. I don't think anybody anticipated this. Martin Freeman is still alive. I don't think... I think Cumberbatch was eliminated. Hedberg was just way too far behind. I don't think Eddie Money is alive either. I, but I do think it's going to be a three-race shot. Oh, AJ Jones hurt by James Young, who ends up winning the race. Holy cow. Jones had all but locked up the championship. Oh, and that shakes it all on his hood. And this allows Pete Townsend another crack. What a crazy, crazy set of circumstances. And Lionel Richie gets his first top five of the year. He was, the, I believe, the only driver not to do so. Yes, he was the only driver of, of the full-time drivers not to get the top five. And he's finally done that. Wow, what a race. It's going to be hard to think of the clinching scenarios. I don't, th I think maybe second. If AJ Jones finishes second, that's how close it is. Well, hope you join us tomorrow for. That race, which is going to be... I don't know how this is going to top this race. Holy cow. This has been the NASCAR Kellogg's Truck Series. We'll be back in two weeks at Atlanta to decide a champion. We hope to see you then, and we hope to see you tomorrow as well.